No. But you like demons. I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. Why would you want Solus to bind you? So I'm safe. If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. A mage using blood magic could conceivably do that to any one of us, human or demon. You should ask Solus to bind you too, and then someone can bind him. There has to be some middle ground between do nothing and bind Cole with blood magic. Indeed. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit? Wearing an amulet of the Unbound was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. It's good to spend time with you. I found the amulet that Solus told us about. Would you like to try it on? Yes, but not here. I like it here. We need some place that can go away if it becomes sharp. What do I do with it? You found one of the amulets. Excellent. May I? It is simple enough. You put it on, I charge it with magic, and you should be protected. Are you ready, Cole? They can't make me a monster. Ah! What was that? Oh, for... What are you doing to the kid? Stopping blood mages from binding me like the demons at Adamant. But it didn't work. Something is interfering with the enchantment. Something like Cole not being a demon? I'm not certain exactly what Cole is. Regardless of Cole's special circumstances, he remains a spirit. Yes, a spirit who is strangely like a person. I don't matter. Just lock away the parts of me that someone else could not together to make me follow. Focus on the amulet. Tell me what you feel. Warm, soft blanket covering, but it catches tears. I'm the wrong shape. There's uh, something. There. That way. It appears we have something to find. Again. All right, kid. Get Cullen and work with him on the map to figure out where you're sensing something wrong. Will you come with me? All of you? Sure. All right, I get it. You like spirits. But he came into this world to be a person. Let him be one. Cole is a demon, or a spirit. He has magical abilities and magical vulnerabilities. We cannot ignore that. Fair enough. But that ritual of theirs only works on demons, right? This is not some fanciful story, child of the stone. We cannot change our nature by wishing. You don't think? However we deal with the problem, our next step is to track down whatever is interfering with the enchantment.
Yeah, this should get me through the month. But give me a moment. Greetings. Can I help you? You. You killed me. What? I don't... I don't even know you. You forgot. You locked me in the dungeon in the spire and you forgot and I died in the dark. The, the spire? Cole, stop. Just take it easy, kid. He killed me. He killed me. That's why it doesn't work. He killed me and I have to kill him back. Before anyone gets killed, I need to know what's going on. Cole, this man cannot have killed you. You are a spirit. You have not even possessed a body. A broken body, bloody, banged on the stone cell, guts gripping in the dark, dank. A captured apostate. They threw him into the dungeon in the spire at Valroyo. They forgot about him. He starved to death. I came through to help, and I couldn't, so I became him, Cole. If Cole was an apostate, that'd make the guy we just saw a Templar. Must have been buying Lyrium. Let me kill him. I need to... I need to. Solus? We cannot let Cole kill the man. I don't think anyone was going to suggest that, Chuckles. Cole is a spirit. The death of the real Cole wounded him, perverted him from his purpose. To regain that part of himself, he must forgive. Come on. You don't just forgive someone killing you. You don't. A spirit can. Varric. The kid's angry. He needs to work through it. A spirit does not work through emotions. It embodies them. But he isn't a spirit, is he? He made himself human. And humans change. They, they get hurt. And they heal. He needs to work it out like a person. You would alter the essence of what he is. He did that to himself when he left the Fade. I'm just helping him survive it. Before I decide anything, I need a clearer picture of what happened. It seems the real Cole was an apostate, captured and taken to the Circle by Templars. Who aren't known for their gentle nature. As the young man starved to death in a dungeon, his pain caught the attention of a spirit, likely one of compassion. Compassion? An uncommon spirit, certainly, and all too fragile when its efforts to help proved to be in vain. Cole needs to let this go. I believe I can help. Cole, come with me. Not possible. Not possible. Can you feel this man's pain, Cole? He remembers now. He knows he killed me. No. Feel his pain. His guilt. The shame that drove him from the Templars. Don't worry, we'll erase his records. They clap me on the shoulder, smell of oiled metal and blood. They smile like Louis did when he made me drown the kittens. Laughter bounces off the walls like a thin child's fist. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He's hurting, Cole. And you are a spirit of compassion. Forget. <laughs> I believe we are finished here. You are right.
right, kid? Yes. He's free. We're both free. That appears to be working. Cole should be adequately protected. Have you talked to him since? Have you heard what he sounds like? He sounds like a spirit. Nonsense words, like Bertrand at the end. Just need to hear the song again, just for a minute. I'm all right, Varric. What matters is his happiness. Cole, how are you feeling? I am well. There is work, wounded to help, hurts to heal, but the weight is off. The old chains have fallen. You're not still angry with the man who hurt you? No, I helped him forget. His pain no longer pulls at me. A woman with two names slips a knife in darkness to her left hand. Honey stirred into Leliana's wine. Faith, not revenge. Could have been a person. Possibly. Would that have made him happier, Child of the Stone? An old name burns inside armor that shouldn't fit. Lit by faces of children he couldn't save. May I ask how things are, now that you're more of a spirit? Questions can be shackles, but you kept me in kindness. I will answer. Can you tell me more about what happened at the Spire? You and the real Cole? I don't remember. I let that go. It isn't part of me anymore. You don't mind killing people, even being more of a spirit? Monsters are easy. Mindless, menacing. It's harder when it's people. Venatory, bandits. People who could change. But they chose. They hurt people. We need to stop them. My blades are yours to command. I forget later. So it washes clean. What is it like to be this way? I'm me. More me than I was. I can care and comfort, but keep clean. No shackles. They feel, forgive, forget, and I am free. Finally. Thank you. Can you tell me more about the Fade, now that you're more connected to it? It is here, but held. Constrained by a construct. Veiled. Feelings, memories, minds, mortality, all shape it. A glass to hold water. We flow to the deep. Without you, we have nothing. Not even us. That's why we want so much. I'll talk to you later. Yes. <laughs>